it's very difficult to differentiate between the flu and the, and the COVID in terms of the signs and the, and the symptoms. The cough, uh, the, the, the running nose, the feeling tired, or what we call uh, being lethargic, or, or having fatigue, or having muscle pains. All those uh, uh, signs and symptoms, they feed both the COVID and the, and, and the flu. So and therefore it's very difficult to tell what one has. But I think to mitigate against the uh, having flu, then one would have uh, encouraged that people must take uh, a vaccines, a flu vaccine, especially those people who are at risk, like the, like the adults, they must have taken the flu, flu vaccine. So in terms of uh, testing, there's a lot of demand on the, on the testing and therefore having a flu-like illness and have everyone tested, that will cost uh, quite a lot in terms of the country, but that will also block the laboratories with a lot of these tests. And I think that's where we need to prioritize to say, if you've got uh, flu-like symptoms, rather stay at home, you don't have to be tested. I mean, the people that do need to be tested are those who are actually very, very sick, that they need to be admitted in hospital. Uh, so those are all people who've got a, a serious uh, morbidity or other conditions like uh, severe diabetes and uh, uh, heart problems. Those are the ones that we might target to test so that if they do progress and they get worse, we know that they've got the disease and one can treat them uh, immediately.